My name is Jack, and today I'm playing Nancy Drew, Warnings at Waverly Academy. I'm Nancy Drew. Hello, this Nancy. is my center oh, I guess of operations. She didn't get to say my her desk. whole name. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it he is. He certainly and does. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. Okay. Let's see what this case is all about, shall we? The headmistress at the Waverly Academy for Girls has asked me, begged me actually, to discover who's been leaving mysterious notes for Stu and causing the strange accidents that always follow them. Who's so Stu? malicious was the last accident, the parents of its victim are threatening to sue the school if the perpetrator isn't identified. Fast. And so, pretending to be a transfer student named Becca Sawyer, I'm going to go undercover at the upstate New York boarding school and hopefully find the culprit. I have to use a fake name instead of my real one because if any of my soon-to-be classmates plug the name Nancy Drew into an online search engine, my cover would be blown in an instant. And to make sure no one sees or hears anything that could give me away, the headmistress has forbidden me to contact Great. her, which means I'm about to be tossed totally on my own into a world of bright, privileged, click-conscious teenage girls. This could be my scariest case yet. Yes, it sounds terrifying. All right, and we're going to play on junior detective mode because we're here for a good time, not a long time. What a nice looking school. Oh. Someone's up after hours. That just makes me think of the Spongebob episode. Time's up, Spongebob. Like when he was writing his essay and his house caught on fire. At least I think that's the episode. Okay, this has nothing to do with anything. Anyway, let her out. She wants to come out of the closet. <laughs> no, no joke intended there. Anyway, um, we're walking in. We see a girl. Hey, you're the new person. Uh, Becca something. Becca Sawyer. I'm Corrine, the person who stuck rooming oh, with gee, you. Oh, gee, thanks. I mean, you're the person who stuck rooming yeah, with exactly. me. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, welcome to my, your, uh, our humble dwelling space. You don't mind having a roommate? Not at all. The roommate I used to have, Danielle, she and I got along great. What happened to her? She had kind of a bad experience. One could Got say. locked in a pitch black closet overnight. See, she was claustrophobic, so when they found her the next morning, she could barely talk. And when I came back from class that afternoon, she just left. No note, no call, no text, nothing. I should probably tell you. What, what should you tell me? Some of the kids on this floor have been getting these, like, threatening notes from someone calling herself the Black Cat. Well, the first note's a warning, but if you get a second one... Something really bad happens to you. Ooh. And last week, the girl in the room next door, Megan Vargas, she got a second note, and that night she ate something at dinner she was allergic to and had such a bad reaction that she had to go home. Somebody's obviously playing a prank, but a lot of kids are starting to get really freaked out. <laughs> anyway, now that you're here, first thing you gotta do is read the Waverly Student Guide, which is online. If you don't have a laptop, it doesn't look like you do. That one little bag is all you brought? Yes, this investigation could take uh, a while, but I only brought one shipped. bag. From France, Lyon. It'll be here in a couple of days. But please, go on. Anyway, you can get online by jumping on the computer in the library. Just make sure you read the part in the guide about Waverly's demerit system really well. 
It's enforced by Paige. The big stick Believe in the mud. Me, you do not want to mess with her. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, this floor is special because only seniors who are viable candidates for valedictorian live up here. Whoever's named valedictorian gets a full ride scholarship to the university of her choice, so it's a pretty big deal. Of course, the only truly viable candidate is me. Not true, it's me. Wait a minute, you mean the only girls to get notes from this black cat person are girls who are in the running to be valedictorian? I hadn't really thought of it that way, but yeah, I guess that's right. Maybe somebody's jealous of us smart kids or something, or maybe it's one of us. Maybe someone's trying to scare off her competition. Whatever, it's not gonna work on me. Where's that cello music coming from? Next door, that's Mel Corbelis. Has she gotten a black cat note? I'm not sure. Her roommate did, though. She's the one who got so sick she had to go home. What are you working on? You look so busy. Yeah, totally. Busy? A blank, that's the understatement blank of the computer year. screen. And I've got four days to finish a 30-page research paper that has to be fully annotated. Homework that we're going to do later. that has to include at least six published, no online stuff, published sources. Oh, Any big student deal. Would hate having you bug them like this. But then, I'm not all that normal, so you can bug me all you want. Not that you're bugging me. Well, you are, technically, but you're not really, because I'm so... Never mind. This is child's play. Have you ever gotten one of these black cat notes? Yeah, I got one about three days ago. No kidding. May I see it? Sorry. I took one look at it and tore it up. But if you'd like to see the note my ex-roommate got, that one's right here. When she got this, how did she react? She tried to laugh it off, but I think she was scared. She was pretty neurotic. What about the second note? There wasn't a second note. Or at least, if there was, she never said anything about it to me. Well, guess I'd better go start meeting people. Yeah, I guess you'd better. I'm not so bad, right? What do you mean? It's just that, well, you're about to find out that I'm not exactly the most... <sighs> never mind. You'll see soon enough. All right. Someone named Rachel wants me to come to her room. Rachel Hubbard. She's in the room at the end of the hall. Hello, Becca. Welcome to Waverly. Since you just got transferred here and don't really have any papers due or exams to study for, unlike the rest of us, I could really use your help on this project I'm working on. Please come see me as soon as you can. My room's at the other end of the hall. Thank you so much, Rachel. Maybe I'll just never... Ooh. That's a picture. Maybe I'll just never, never, ever go. I'll just avoid it. Ah. Whoa, watch it! Oh, your hair's on fire! No wonder you're in a oh, hurry! Oh, ha ha! My hair's on fire? Just kidding. Red hair looks really good on some people. Yeah, you sound so I'm authentic. I'm And the audio I'm Becca Sawyer. Synced. I just transferred here. From? from the States originally, but I came here by way of France. It's a long story. Chouette alors. I don't know what that means. Let me have your cell phone. What? My cell phone? Yeah, so I can set you up on the local network. It'll just take a second. Okay. This way you'll be able to get texted and keep up on all the breaking news. Thanks. You're a real gal pal. There you go. Look, my room's on the other side of the study hall, but lately I've been spending most of my time in the library. So come talk to me. I'm student body president, which means when it comes to the lay of the land, I got the best map. See ya. Help. Disappearing under a mound of laundry. Can I borrow some detergent? No. It's already open. Then open it. Yeah? Hello, I'm going to ignore you. Read much followed by more. Wonder why it was spelled with two O's instead of one. Is this sampler as old as it looks? It's old, that's for sure. My great, great, great grandmother made it. She was in the first class of students to graduate from here. Everybody in my family who attends Waverly has to hang that thing in her room. It's tradition. Did your mother graduate from here? And her mother and her mother's mother ad infinitum. I come from a long line of Waverly grads. I'm what you call a legacy. I was admitted automatically. Well, aren't you a lucky, lucky girl? 
Who are you? <laughs> uh, you I'm just Becca explained Sawyer. to me your life story and, you know, who are you? I just moved into the room next door. Oh, yeah, you're the transfer, the one who got kicked out of some school in France? How did you know? The primary source of all wisdom and truth around here has been all a buzz. What's the rumor mill been saying about the black cat? The black cat is just someone playing an idiotic prank. End of story. Well. Of course, it's not the end of the story for my roommate Megan, who wound up having to go home sick with an allergic reaction that almost killed her. But it's still a stupid prank. Yeah. Death. A prank. Oh my gosh. What exactly happened to her? Look, enough about the black cat. The other girls can buy into that garbage all they want, but the pea brain that's behind this, I refuse to give her the satisfaction. So if you have questions for Megan, I think you should call her yourself. 845-555-1849. Thanks, girl. How well do you know the girl I'm rooming with, Corrine? Probably better than anybody. She doesn't have a lot of friends, but she's incredibly smart. Plus, she's a social outcast too, so we get along pretty well. What makes you say she's a social outcast? She's so desperate for people to like her, she gets on everyone's nerves. Me? I don't much care if people like me or not, but Corrine? She cares a lot. And it shows. You play that cello pretty well. Thank you. My cousin plays I the cello. I taught myself to play when I was ten. Does Waverly have an orchestra? Yeah, but as you may have guessed, I'm not much of a joiner. I'll quit bugging you. Door's always open. Sweet. Bathroom break. E-S-S-E-O. Hey, who wrote that? Wow, that's so mean. The bullying has already begun. Takes me back to middle school. Anyway, I guess we'll talk to Rachel. I'm here! Hello. You must be Becca Sawyer. Did you see my no. note? No. I, I did wish I Rachel hadn't seen Hubbard. your note. That's me. And boy, am I glad you're here. See, I've got this web design project that's due by the end of the break. Only I've got two papers to write by then, too. So, since you're a transfer and you won't really have anything to do until classes start, I was hoping you could help me. But I don't know anything about web design. I'm not a spider. You don't have to. I just need you to do grunt work. Take pictures and upload them mostly. The pages I'm designing will be part of the Waverly School website. That's a big deal. You sure that's not cheating? Positive. It's a design class, not a photography class. What the pictures are of and where they appear on the page are all that's important, and that'll be totally up to me. I know this is kind of weird, but... I'm Rachel Hubbard. I'm from Pittsburgh. I'm here on a scholarship. I blew a recent AP Chem test, which means I probably won't be valedictorian unless everybody else totally messes up. I love dogs. I hate cauliflower. My favorite subject's math. And I am desperate. Really? Well, I guess I could help you. Sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One more thank you. Okay, what you need to do first is take a picture of all the valedictorian candidates. Here are their names. You have a camera cell phone, right? Of course. Great. After you've taken everybody's picture, get on the computer in the library and upload them according to the instructions on that sheet. I'll check the pictures once they're up. If I want you to take any of them over, I'll leave a note for you on the page. When you're done, report back to me, all right? I may need you to do something else. In the meantime, I'm about to be late for a meeting with my advisor, so if you could get started, that would be great. I really appreciate this, Becca. See you later, okay? Okay. What? I'm being gossiped about already? That sure didn't take long. Newbie sighting in Valcow Hall. Becca Sawyer has landed. Is that what teenagers sound like? I don't know. Hi. Hey, how come I couldn't find anything about you online, like on your page? Because I'm too cool for that. You looked me up online? Well, yeah. It's the 21st century. Soon as you meet somebody, that's what you do. Well, and I don't know about anyone that. Anyone under the age of, like, 30 who doesn't have something up on your page, either A, has been living on Mars, or B, is seriously weird. Well, I'm seriously since weird. it doesn't look like either of those applies to you, what gives? I took my page down because, for personal reasons. Well, do you have a boyfriend? Do you? Yeah. Well, who is he? Where does he live? 
Come on, you can tell me stuff. I'm your roommate. I'm sorry, but I... I'd rather not talk about him right now, okay? Yeah, okay, whatever. So what do you want to talk about? His name, my boyfriend's name, is Nick Nederson. Rachel enlisted me to help her get her web project done. Better you than me. In fact, I need to take your picture for it. <sighs> Without your camera, let's get it over with. Cheese. Okay, so every time I've played this game, I've been able to just... My face is getting a little sore over yeah, here. Yeah, I don't care. Anyway, every time I've been able to play this game, it's just accepted this, like, with no manipulations to it. So, uh, we're gonna see if that works for us, and if it doesn't, then I guess we're gonna have to retake them. I met Mel. She's very... different. Yeah, I think that's why we're friends. She did say I was her friend, right? Oh, sorry, that was dumb. There we go, sounding all insecure and loserish again. Are you a Waverly Legacy like Mel is? As if. I earned my way into this place. I was accepted because I was the most deserving applicant like ever. No, actually, I was Those the most deserving words, applicant schools, ever. Of course, but it's still true. I ran into someone in the hall when I left here. Her name was... Izzy? That would be Isabella Romero, Izzy for short. Queen Izzy. I can just see her acting all warm and fuzzy while she sizes you up, trying to decide if the new girl is worthy of becoming one of her subjects. She was actually kind of helpful. Really? Well, congratulations. You must have made the grade. I sure never have. That girl never, ever passes up a chance to do or say something cruel to me. She just does it because she's jealous, of course, but it's still... But it's still annoying. Uh -uh. That's that's sad. It's not very nice. Where can I find Leela Yadav? I need to take her picture. Leela is Izzy's roommate. She's probably in the rec room. I'd better get going. Bye. Enjoy. Talk to Mel again. Come on in. Hello. Becca the new girl, what's going on? I need to take a close-up of you for a page on the school website I'm helping put up. The school wants my picture on its website? Groovy. Blast away. I better get going. Doors always open. Cool. Let's change our phone settings while we're here. Um, no settings. Dread Isle. Ooh, no. Bad memories. The Bole Gardens. Castle Malloy. Icicle Creek. Surf Shack. These are all terrible choices. But I guess Castle Malloy. Mm. Go with green. I like number four. That's good. Okay. Um, she's not there. We need to meet Leela. Hello. You must be the girl who came all the way from France with just the clothes on her back? Becca something? Becca Sawyer. I'm Leela Yadav. Welcome to Waverly. What happened to your wrist? I took a really freak fall and sprained it. I'm supposed to rest it for at least a week. That's why I'm in here instead of the gym shooting baskets. Playing the games in here keeps my reflexes sharp. People think I'm just saying that, but it's true. In fact, let's play air hockey. Come on, by helping me stay in shape, you'll be helping out your new school. Really? You want to get off on the right foot here, don't ya? Yeah, but I, I don't have time right now. I told Rachel Hubbard I'd help her with her web project. That's too bad. Do you think the black cat had anything to do with your wrist? Well, my falling like that was really weird. I mean, ordinarily, I'm real coordinated. But I think it was just bad luck. Happens to everybody. I mean, look at you, being subjected to Rachel on your very first day. Why do you say that? She's got this bizarre schizoid thing going. She'll say something one day, then deny it the next. Or she'll do something, then claim she didn't. She's actually kind of scary. You'll see. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if she's the black cat. Really? 
See, Rachel flunked a test a couple weeks ago, which means she can't be valedictorian. So maybe, in some twisted way, she thinks we're to blame and she's using this black cat stuff to freak us all out. Not that it's working. On me, at least. I've won state championships in both soccer and basketball. Ooh. No way am I going to let a couple of stupid notes get to me. Because you're in the running for valedictorian, I need to get a close-up of you for the school website, if that's okay. No problem. Fire when ready. Do you ever hang out with my roommate, Corrine? Not if I can help it. Who does hang out with her? Mel Corbelis and her are friends. No big surprise. After all, weirdos of a feather flock together. Jeez. I've bugged you enough for now. That's all right. I'm kind of waiting for my boyfriend to call. He goes to Oxborough. That's the boys' school just down the road. Talking to you helped kill the time. I'll see ya. Great. Bonjour. Unfortunately, that and Chouette de Laura are all the French I know. Hey, my condolences on your roommate assignment. You know, it might not be too late to get it changed. I hear your roommate is Lila Yadev. Athletic superstar and savior of Waverly's athletic program. We actually get along fine. Probably because we're pretty much equals. Everyone knows who she is, and everyone knows who I am. Huh. A word to the wise. Avoid hanging out with your roommate as much as possible. Nobody likes Kareen. Why not? Because she's Kareen. Uh, oh, well, and Kareen of course. Is just not cool. But look, don't worry. Everyone knows rooming with Kareen wasn't your idea. As long as you don't hang out with her, nobody's going to hold it against you. Sounds like who you hang out with around here is pretty important. Hey, this is the real world. It is. It's important no matter where you are. Okay, if I take a close-up of you, Rachel needs it for the school website. Rachel roped you into helping her, huh? Lucky you. Your first day, you get to spend it with every loser in our class. Ready for my close-up, darling? Just call me Mr. DeMille. Mmm, do I really feel like talking to you? No, not really. I've harassed you enough. Adios. Ugh. Let's just see. Darn it. Ugh. I thought you left. Oh, wait. I did leave. <laughs> I think I'm out of here after all. Bye. Yeah. Whoops. Gotta press. Forgot pet. Yeah. Okay, now I'm back. I thought you left. Yeah, well, I'm back. Uh-oh, my game's skipping. Okay. Apparently, I need to get a password from you before I can use the school's computer. That's right. Unfortunately, I need to finish this DNA model before I can give it to you. Too bad, huh? huh. Want me to help you? Sure, you bet. Excellent idea. Okay, here's what you need to do. You just have to make sure adenine is always paired with thymine and cytosine is always paired with guanine. And make sure each pair is connected to a sugar on the alternating sugar phosphate side. Just jump in. You'll figure it out. When you're done, bring it back. And if you get it right, I'll tell you the password. Sounds good. What else is going I'm on? I'm going to take eyeshadow remover to your eyes. I need it's to get going. It's a weird thread, I know. Adios. But whatever anyway let's do this uh okay um the music just cut out that's great that's not right um hmm. i love it when the music just cuts out like that that's very it's very good it's good to work in silence well i guess i'm not working in silence because i'm talking uh no, that's not it. That's not it either. Huh, I can't find the piece that... What? Oh, wait, that's supposed to be red. <laughs> Whoops. 
Okay, I'm not an idiot, I promise. Oh, well, maybe a little bit, but that's okay. We're all a little foolish sometimes. Um, yeah, sure, we'll put that there, why not? Ooh. This isn't turning out as well as I wanted it to. Well, this isn't right now, is it? Can, is, there, is there a reset button? So if this needs to go here... Ooh, that's... Is this stuck here? Yeah, okay, that's stuck here. This isn't stuck here, is it? No, but that's the only thing that could go there. What about this one? Wee. Fiddle my sticks. This just is not going well for me now, is it? Huh. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit, I say. Um. Well, that's the only thing that can go there. No, that's gotta have... It's gotta be like so... This, I think this has to go here. Wait, did I figure it out? I don't think Nancy tells you, so let's just hope that was correct. Finished with that DNA model? God, I hope I so. I think so. Awesome! Hmm. Okay, your password is WAC35NE136. Oh, I put in the wrong password! WAC35NE136. Got it. Thanks. What else is going on? I still think you would have had to have done done that anyway. Let's just finish talking to her. I get the impression Rachel's not one of your favorite people. She's no one's favorite people. Even Corrine doesn't like her. She seems nice enough. She has no business being here, either socially or academically, and she knows it. She makes no effort to fit in because she knows she never will. <laughs> Gotta give her that much. What's your take on Mel? All that edgy, free spirit, deep thinking stuff is just an act. She knows she can't cut it here, so she's making it look like she doesn't care. Maybe she really doesn't care. Everybody cares what other people think. In fact, if they don't, they're psychopaths. What? I just learned that in AP Psych. Okay, well, your IP Psych professor needs to take a step back. Because I don't think they know psychology. I mean, I don't know psychology that well, but I don't think that's what makes a psychopath. I think there are other factors. What do you think your chances are for making valedictorian? Chance has nothing to do with it. I deserve to be valedictorian. Therefore, I'm going to be valedictorian. That's not how life None works. None of the other girls deserve it? Absolutely not. Look, it's not just a matter of getting the highest grades. The faculty also looks at extracurricular activities, leadership, community service, school spirit, things I totally excel well, at. Good for you. I'm going to be valedictorian, and then I'm going to Harvard. I have a really funny story about graduation so I'm gonna tell that not now but later maybe when I'm doing another puzzle or something just you're not here but remind me and I'll tell it have you gotten any notes from the black cat everyone on the Valcan floor has the valedictorian candidate floor our floor I think the notes are kind of creepy I think they're just a stupid distraction and the person sending them should be expelled not that who that person is is any great mystery it isn't it's Mel. See, like I said, she's a little psycho. And black cats, strange mishaps, it all fits in with that inane goth thing she's got going. I mean, who else could it be? Why the black cat? 
Why isn't this person sending notes from the Black Snake or the Red Spider or something? Well, don't tell anyone I told you this, but... Supposedly, there was a teacher here once, a long time ago, that none of the students liked. They were always playing tricks on her, scaring her and stuff, until one day one of their pranks gave her a heart attack and she died. Yikes. Her black cat went running off into the woods during the funeral and never came back. But for years after that, people would spot it lurking in the shadows, and whenever they did, something bad would happen. They said it was the teacher, Miss Hallowell, coming back as her cat to get revenge. Somebody around here is obviously trying to get some mileage out of a silly ghost story. One the headmistress is trying desperately to squelch, by the way. So remember, you didn't hear it from me. Thanks for all the advice. Adios. All right, well, I think that's a good stopping point, so we're going to stop here for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hit subscribe to stay tuned for the next part, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!